That's all right, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we adventure into Kirby. More specifically, Kirby's Adventure for the NES. Um, I believe this is the second Kirby game ever created. I believe the one for the Game Boy came out before this, but you know what? I'll, let me let me double check that before you quote me. Because that... Uh, definitely a game that... Kirby released 92. Okay, I was right. Uh, definitely a game that has more of a old school feel, and this gives it such change in growth. So, we're off to Vegetable Valley, which is called Level 1, but I, I feel like it should be called World 1, but you'll see why in a little bit. Most of these early stages are pretty short. Ooh, talk about getting lucky there. Um, but some of the later stages in this game. Ah, I know. Whoa. I'm not going to lie. A lot of the early weapons are also not my favorite or not as useful. I think one of the things that Josh and I should do with this is uh, also discuss which one is our favorite slash which one do we feel is the most useful Ooh. I can't just slide oh did you see that come on come on come on come on come on ah all right we're going for a high score I guess so yeah these these are some of my favorite things. All right, use the buttons to move the crane and try to get a Kirby. A big one's hard to get, but worth it. So I believe this little Kirby is just worth one. And the big Kirby is worth two or three. Uh, that looks pretty good. I should get him. And one of the things that I think is great about this is there's a lot of visual cues of letting you know kind of like how well you're doing especially in the select this one's a little off like you can definitely see it so i think it just grabs under his armpits or it grabs yeah so like ah, there's a chance i drop it like clearly i didn't thank goodness because i can use all the extra lives i can get but to a plus four this game has a lot of those smaller little details that i know it's the end of the nes oh cutters in the stage Oh, what the? I swear I hit B to spit you out. Oh, no, thank you. Oh, no, thank you as well. You know, like, if he falls from a certain height, he, like, flips over and falls on his face and bounces. And it's just a lot of details like that that this game had. Oh, didn't get either of those. Um, I'm gonna hang on to it. Crash is a lot of fun, but I would like to hang on to Cutter. It's not worth it for one attack. sword up here I think yep there's sword I love that you can suck up like the health and what ups jump Whoosh. come on yeah dance dance Dance, 
deeds, deeds, deeds. Look at that. Ten lives already. Alright, so like I love how like like you carve out the level of the world. And so like I think if you I don't know if I just beat the stage or if I have to beat it a specific way or find a specific thing in this one. What does it say? Ooh. Um, but I think you get like that space to that top left area. Ooh, fireballs not fireballs not a bad attack. Come on. There you go. No. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> Um, so the water can be difficult because if I didn't have a weapon, I'd just use like this spray attack. Oh my god. Ouch, I agree. Dang it. Uh, I got fireball at least. Furball. Go! Ah, oh, I thought I had it again. Um, I didn't find anything special, so maybe it's just gonna open it up anyways. But yeah, it did. Hmm. Oh, these are the uh, museum galleries. So this is where, like, you, if you wanted this as your weapon, you're guaranteed to come back here and get it. So no matter what, every time I can come back to World One and grab sword if I need sword want sword whatever oh my god I think one of the more complicated parts of this game was the oh, there was always a little bit of lag now nah, I'm gonna keep sword When you got a lot of characters on screen, the, the screen light wasn't great. There are games where I feel like screen light can benefit you, and there are games where I feel like it really hurts you, and this was one where I, I just don't think it ever helped. Just making sure there's no secret there. Ooh, needle. Ooh, I might need needle. I'm trying to remember. At least not there, I don't need it. Whoa. Oh, yes. All right, like screen lag, trying to jump, trying to do things, and I can't. Like that's him like running through a finish line. That's the warp. All right, King DDD boss. Oh, you going with your previous health? I don't think I ever really realized that. This should be easy though, just because I have sword and I can just button mash. Come on, all right, we'll watch a little bit. You know what I mean? So he drops these. We should shoot these back at him. He blows some air at us really doesn't do much we come back up here one of the great things about sword is it does swing behind you and we have defeated the first boss in what feels like five minutes Ooh, donut meets bad guy oh dude nailed you with a hammer ice cream island oh, great music 
these things. So these things like fall and explode. Oh, it gave me full health. Oh, umbrella parasol, I believe is the correct phrasing. So parasol's kind of got some sword esque abilities, but it also um, gives me the slow fall, which is nice, and it blocks anything that it falls from above. Ah, oh, I thought I could reach him. Ooh, those guys are dangerous. I can't wait to get a mix. That guy should count as a mix. Oh no. Ooh, that was dangerous. Yep. Tornado. Tornado's great because you can just kind of hold can keep just like hitting the same guys over and over. Oh my goodness, his tornado lasts longer than mine does. Uh, but if you hold the attack button, you float up. So you kind of go up and can attack guys that are above you or attack the flying characters. There we go. But it makes you invincible. I don't think you can take damage while you're in tornado. Yeah, perks. Yeah. The, the weapons, the itemry. Oh, another great bonus. Egg catcher. Press the buttons to make Kirby's mouth open. Try to eat eggs, but not bombs. All right, I gotta remember what opens my mouth, B or A. Oh. Oh. Oh, I missed that one. Oh man, I missed one. I should have gotten at least a two up. God, I forgot how fun this game was. It's so simplistic. Like why they needed those setups, like why you can just go there and be at the desert. Ooh, spark fire, so I'm gonna take sword. Actually. No, we're gonna get sword. I don't trust any of you punks. Oh, not the best weapon for this situation, but don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit. There we go. Alright, give me a wheel. Alright, wheel is pretty cool because you can just rip through stages. And again, you are invincible as long as you're not like that slide. Um, and you just fly. There are some areas, I think this might be one of them, where there's like some jumps or some things that like help as well, but. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy for wheel. It does a job. You go fast. Oh, give me that crane stage. Give me that good stuff. Oh, you threw them all the way over there. Punks. That's good. That looks good. Get him. Alright. So at least we got some armpit action. Oh, well, we made it all the way. Nice. Don't throw them. Yeah, there you go. That looks pretty good. We should be good. Two for two. Let's see it. Scoop them up. Scoop them up. There we go. All right. All right. What do we got? Like 20 guys already? 
and I'm not doing a good job of finishing stages and getting the one up at the end of them. All right, wheels pretty much not helpful anymore. Not in this. Oh. We. Much rather sore. It's much more violent. Um, hmm. I need to be able to attack upwards. What's even worse is if you're in the water and you get hit, you pretty much you lose whatever weapon you had. Because you can't suck the star back up. It just like sinks to the bottom and destroys. Blows up. Destroys. Yeah, you know what I mean. Sadness. I'm going to have to come back to this stage. Wheel wouldn't be able to get up there. What else would be able to get up there? Parasol can't. Can't. I don't think I'd be able to get Spark to go. Oh, you went through a wall. That's weird. Can you guys just do that? I guess so. at me. Ow. Oh, I don't like these pitchfork guys. They just throw pitchforks at you. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Oh. Ceiling blocks you from jumping. Take two puffs. Yeah, they beat me up. Yeah, I need some of that health. You both gonna come flopping at me? This way, at least. That way, it's easier for me to get over there. Yep, yep, yep. There you go. You're together. Together again. Ooh. That almost didn't pan out well, huh? So, we missed out on some secret, I guess. Whoa. Barely. I guess that secret doesn't make any real difference. Where's the... Oh, not down there. Oh, let's go to the museum. Let's find out what we got. Laser! Oh, laser was my favorite as a kid. This is why. Pew! Just the range. The rapid fireness. I love the fact that his finger glows. That's just funny. Yeah. Why not? Oh, these guys suck. Oh. Cause they'll just drop sometimes. Oh. Get in there. Nice job, Kirby. Oh.
What the frick? Ooh, rock. Nope, I'm gonna stick with umbrella. Oh, excuse me, Jesus, umbrella, laser. Oh, yes. Great weapon coming up. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Mike! Alright. Mike's one of the best weapons you can get in this game. So, and you get three uses. Just a one up. It's just it's just a one up. <laughs> and it kills anybody in the stage, but the third one's the best one. He goes way it gets all hyped up. So alright, let's go back in the laser. Give me a laser. Oh goodness. Yep. Jerk. Stupid cannons. So, laser also just reflects off of any of these diagonal surfaces, which is why in that last section with the one up, if I'd gotten laser, I could have angled the shot so it does shoot up. But if you don't have laser, it doesn't make any difference. That high score. Come on. Oh, that's not good. 2000. Oh, okay. It could be worse. Do, do, do. Ooh, Coliseum. What is that? I forget. Arena. Two fighters go in, but only one will leave. You can get a tomato and an ability for a win. Get it. Why not? Maybe I need it. Freeze. Okay, so freeze does like an, an area attack like spark, which we haven't seen spark yet, but there's freeze and then there's ice, which ice just is like fire breath. It just shoots in front of you. So this one's nice because it kind of gives you like, it's more of a defensive. Okay, don't do what you're supposed to do. Take a hit again. Jesus, fuck. Crap. And dead. No, come back. Ugh. If I need that, I'm going to be pissed. And if I don't, I'm going to be pissed that I even bothered to get it in the first place. Who wheel. Oh, I missed the mix. That's fine. <laughs> we'll see mix at some point. We'll see a lot of things at some point. Oh, we're going that way. Uh, so one of the things that we just killed there was a sleep, which legitimately just puts Kirby to sleep. Right there, that green guy down there. Ooh, not a great space to use wheel. <sighs> High jump. was. Alright, give me sword. I'd rather that. Oh, there it is. Ooh, cutter might be better. Ooh, the game 
game's telling me something. Oh no! Yes. High jump's probably one of the attacks I like least. Why am I not jump? Oh goodness. Yeah, just because I need it. Um, because it doesn't. Oh, wait a second. I swear, there's something in the save that I'm missing. I thought there was a secret somewhere here. Oop, dump, 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 dump. Oh crap, that could have been bad. <laughs> I guess there's nothing. Uh, oh, give me, give me, give me, give me. No. Sadness. Too bad apples don't give you anything either. Ugh, that stage was rough. There it is. There it is. get laser and then let's go get some full health and then let's go kick boss 2's butt Ooh. the cheering crowd in the background all right boss 2 this was uh, the art guy right yeah He had some cool moves. Ooh, I don't remember. I don't remember what all these things do. I forgot he like painted all these things. Nope, go down. Ugh, come here. Get out of there. Alright, alright, where are you going? Oh, yep, that's exactly what I was waiting for you to do, and I thought I could dodge it. Kirby painted me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, Mike. I'm just sticking it out with laser. It's safest. It's not a strong attack, but it does the job. Alright, so. Level 1, level 2, world 1, world 2, whatever you'd like to call these. Done. On to world 3. Uh, I think we're going to call it at that. It's a good spot. It's a good stage to, uh, you know, get back into and, and to go adventuring. We already got 20 extra lives. I mean, we are just killing this game. Uh, when we get to that later worlds, they get some more difficulty and some more hidden features and whatnot. But for now, uh, I think we're going to call it there. So until next time, adios, people.